Okay, I'm just gonna show this message. I could hide it, but this Chinese name says fuck phase six. I'm gonna let I'm gonna give him the chance. We're gonna sit back here and I'm gonna give him the chance to elaborate on it. There will be phase seven and eight and your mother and father and sister and sister and next door. Are you are you mad about no 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 I'm not gonna block him because I wanna actually I wanna hear where aggravation comes from. I just wanna hear their thoughts. I, I get where you're coming from. I know I know frustration, right? Why are you so much believe in phase in AMC and GME? I literally just I just stated the facts and I just said what it could do. I never said that it's going to cause the squeeze. I don't have faith in AMC and GME because they're AMC and GME as companies. I have faith in all of the retail investors that bought in here. And that aren't selling and that and that haven't sold and that have had each other's back for this long that's what i believe in when was the last time pushing sec does doing anything jimmy don't push at any food yeah the sec doesn't do anything but that's exactly why you're you just contradicted yourself because you said fuck phase six what's phase six gonna do and this is actually regulating this is regulation on regulators this isn't just the u.s regulators this isn't just the sec and dtcc this is world banks regulating on the smaller players on on our regulation on the u.s regulation so you just contradicted yourself right there on august 30 31st gme has one of the largest failure to delivers uh didn't coming yeah there are loopholes in failure to delivers I, I i there are loopholes do you believe in buy and hold i do believe in buy and hold and the reason i do is because we don't have any fees to pay even if they have loopholes the people shorting this this stock they have fees to play all uh, fees to pay also we have a CEO that is trying his hardest to go cash flow positive, that is trying to help out retail. Uh, essentially, if we get this dilution in the dividend, if it actually starts to scale up, we get diluted, we clear debt, it's definitely going to be helpful for the fundamentals of the company. On a fundamental aspect, fuck the short squeeze. I think AMC is greater than an $8 stock in general. So fuck the short squeeze. Right now, I would buy the stock. Uh, let's see, no fee, but missing out on good profit chance. That's also a miss. No fee, but missing out on good profit chance. Internet, no, 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 not, I don't. Not yet, at least. Uh, <laughs> I just wanna hear where frustration's coming. Um, let me ask you this, because I don't know the name that I've been talking to, but do you own AMC and GameStop? Do you own them? That's what I wanna know, because it sounds like you've owned them for a while, you're down money, and you're frustrated in the play. And what I can say for you right now is that, okay, you should not have gotten into something if you don't know why you got in it in the first place. So don't be aggressive with anybody else but yourself because this is your money. That's it. That's it. Don't be aggressive towards anybody else because you should not have invested in something you didn't have faith in and you didn't believe in. Phase 6 will put people in too much hype. I, I'm not going to say that Phase 6 is going to completely cause a squeeze, but it's definitely something to pay attention to. We can't just disregard every catalyst because we haven't squoze yet. We do have to pay attention to it.